all right so i was scrolling on twitter and i saw brenner boy trending and just figured okay what could be the issue today but um so apparently brenner boy tweeted that he's the best to ever do it and i'm like fine that's that's okay like he he thinks he's the best and at the end of the day music is subjective every day i come on this channel to give a subjective opinion on issue right so nothing is factual when it comes to music like at the end of the day people share their opinion and it's up to you to agree or not but for him to feel like he is the best to ever do it fam that's a bold statement at the same time he has all the rights to like to do that same way i would love to be as confident as that to say i'm the best like afrobeats related youtuber like fam like i understand the idea that's that's everything behind hip-hop hip-hop is to come out here and brag but there was another statement that actually got people riled up and where he got so much pushback from he said in response to somebody where were you since 2010 2018 i mean where the f are you when afrobeat was struggling to hit the mainstream the best paved the way for you you came in when the table has already been set and here you are claiming the best since fella um all right so that was a fair criticism to say he's not the best that's okay the person said okay others paved for you o others paved the way for you now brenner boy comes and responds with lol nobody paved for me everybody they find their own i've been out here if you knew the way they made us look weak by begging and paying the western world to like us you will see that no table was set and i'm the one that brought you the respects that you currently enjoy fab okay all right now if his claim is to say he's the first to speak out against how the mainstream in the western part of the world has treated african artists fam there's evidence to show that he has spoken out the first to to say coachella you need to put some respect on my name that's the entire narrative behind the album that got him a grammy nomination you know that's the entire narrative behind, behind african giant if that's his claim that he's saying that he that we've gained some respect as as a genre now because of him absolutely he can make that claim or give him that one because obviously there's evidence to it and no one can take that away from him but to make the claim that nobody paved the way for you that's one statement i have to say bros come 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 nobody paved the way for you uh-uh there's evidence there's paper trail to say nope you are just wrong on that you're just factually wrong on that statement my guy like that's we cannot give you that one at all <laughs> you cannot run away with that one because the fact that your music was more digestible now and more, more very much well received was because of the people prior okay a lot of the doors were open and it seemed normal to invite an african artist to do all those things okay? aside the obvious name as fella and I'm sure that's the claim he was making. He was making the claim that he's the best since Fela. Aside Fela, there's Majek Fashek, Sonia Day, Whiskid, Two Face, The Banj, Davido. All, all those artists can say that they've pushed the needle for African music in general. They pushed the limit and the cap that we once thought was not reachable, right? And for you to say yeah, the, nobody paved the way for you is just an it's just a huge disrespect to people that came before you as a black person it's nice to see a kofi annan be the secretary general of the united nations like that was ginger for an entire continent because a black man being at that level meant oh it's achievable we can do that all right for you being as a young artist growing up and seeing majak fashek on the stage of uh today's show or the tonight show or one of those shows it's called spirit of love we're very pleased to welcome Majek Fashek. Or oh, seeing Two Faces African Queen being featured in a movie. Or oh, seeing Whiskid's um, One Dance feature go and stay as number one on Billboard for weeks. Seeing David O's fall climb up on the charts organically. How would I say this without sounding rude? Because at the same time, it's just the most delusional, narcissistic claim I've ever heard from an artist. Everyone pays homage, okay? Like, that's one thing you even do very well with Fela. But for you to just turn a blind side and say Fela is the only one that's, that did something for Nigerian music, it's just outright wrong. And you're not the first, okay? People have paved the way for you. 
okay like that's to me that's just wild to make that claim okay that's bold bold and i and i like the energy fam i like the energy but the bar just went too far man the bar just went too far and i've seen a lot of people defend this argument by saying oh they didn't really like support him they didn't like praise they didn't make noise for him fam you don't literally need to put money in someone's pocket to pave the way for them you don't necessarily have to sign them to pave the way for them you don't necessarily have to give them a award physically to, to pave the way for them and guess what the ironic thing about all of this is that Brenna Boy, as we speak right now is paving the way for so many artists coming out of nigeria coming out of the afrobeat scene after him okay and hopefully nobody comes out to tarnish his legacy and say he didn't pave the way for them hopefully you know none of that happens right now because it's so ironic the sentiments behind the statement paving the way for somebody really means to do something and the next generation looking up to you would be like if so 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 and so could do it then maybe i could do it maybe i could reach those limits or maybe get i could do even better than them okay that's the sentiment every parent wants to pass down to their kid. That's the sentiment every mentor wants to pass down to their mentee or a role model. Somebody that you're trying to emulate or you're trying to get to where they are in their careers or in their achievements. And it's just ridiculous having to defend that statement that nobody paved the way for him. I don't see any reasonable argument behind him being like nobody paved the way for me. In any aspect of life, in any field. If you see somebody do something that you never thought could be done, that is by itself paving the way. That is representation. The very least you can say is they made it easier for you. Like they made it a lot easier for you to, to break into that scene, to break into that market. It's just the most delusional line of thinking I've ever seen from an artist. And I respect Brenna Boy so much and I love him so much that that's why I'm even making this statement fam like there's artists not just artists the, the promoters the the producers the everyone that has been part of what Nigerian music industry is today it's just an outright insult to them and saying that countless amount of hours and effort they've put into the craft you, you cannot say people didn't pave the way for you that's why I just find this argument really really crazy man you, can, you you gotta call him out when he's wrong you got you just have to like i don't know guys what do you guys think let me know in the comment section because this just got me riled up on twitter and to see people very respectable people on twitter defend this by saying oh nobody nobody was looking out for anyone the way people are just doing their own fam that's so stupid because at the end of the day everyone is making a shift for the entire field the entire group of people at the same time they're not fighting for just themselves they're fighting for the entire scene they're not fighting for just themselves man it's stupid to to think oh people are just doing their own thing and everyone is just they pay everyone's just paving their own way they, i know as you're going they'll just be closing road for everybody that's just stupid fam like fam anyways definitely let me know what you guys think and of course if it's your first time on this channel check out the other content i i put out here i just thought this was just ridiculous i just needed to say something on this platform black magic review coming very soon by the way thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one peace